The Berenstein Bears and the Substitute Teacher. Oh boy, a substitute, whispered Two Tall Grizzly when Teacher Bob announced he would be away for a few days and that starting tomorrow the class would have a substitute teacher. What's so great about that, whispered Brother Bear, who sat next to Two Tall. Yeah, so what, whispered Freddy, Brother Bear's cousin and best friend. You've got to be kidding, chuckled Two Tall. I'll explain it to you after school. Something funny back there, asked Teacher Bob in a stern voice. Perhaps you'll share it with the rest of us. Er, it was nothing, sir, said Too Tall. Then stop chattering and pay attention. Teacher Bob went on to announce a big next day history test. Then he put a three-day schedule on the board for the substitute. After school, Too Tall and his gang caught up with brother and cousin Freddy. I guess you two goody-goodies are too chicken to help us have a little fun with the grouch puss old substitute we're having tomorrow, said Too Tall. We are not goody-goodies, protested Brother, and we're not chicken, said Freddy. What sort of fun? asked Brother warily. Oh, just a few harmless tricks, said Too Tall. Maybe put a frog in her desk drawer, maybe rig the board erasers and stuff in the supply closet to spill out when she opens it, and some other stuff. Gee, I don't know, said Brother. But then he and Freddy pictured a frog jumping out of the desk drawer and the chalk and board eraser spilling out of the closet, and it did look like fun. Brother Bear! It was Queenie, one of the girls in Brother's class, catching up. Want to study for the history test at my house tonight? Hey, what about that history test? Brother asked Too Tall. Forget about it, he said with a sly grin. There isn't going to be any history test. I have a plan. Er, I plan to study at home tonight, Brother called to Queenie, but thanks just the same. What sort of other stuff? He asked, turning back to Too Tall. Oh, stuff we'll pick up at the novelty store, he said. You know, fake spiders, a trick book that a paper snake jumps out of. Well, what do you say? Can we count on you for the frog? I guess so, said Brother. That evening, he tried to study for the test, but he kept thinking. All of all the fun he and the gang were going to have. Pretty soon he was on the phone giggling and laughing. What's that all about? asked sister. Freddy and I were quizzing each other for a history test we're having tomorrow, he said. You must have been getting some pretty funny answers, she said suspiciously. The next morning, very early, Too Tall and his gang were waiting in the schoolyard when brother and Freddy arrived. Have you got the frog? they asked. A big fat one, said brother. We caught it down at Frog Pond. Too Tall led the way into the schoolhouse, along the deserted hall, and into the empty classroom. Working quickly, they rigged the supply closet, placed the fake spiders here and there, put the trick book on the teacher's desk, and slipped the big, fat bullfrog into the drawer. What about the history test? asked Brother. It's scheduled right up there on the board. What history test? Asked, said Too Tall as he reached up and pulled down a wall map, completely covering the schedule. I told you I had a plan. Now come on. Let's get out of here before the old grouch puss gets here. But the substitute turned out to be very different from the easy to fool old grouch puss they expected. She was a sharp young teacher wearing designer jeans, hoop earrings, and tinted glasses who arrived in a snappy looking sports car. Brother Bear took one look at her and realized two things. One, they probably weren't going to get away with their tricks. And two, the tricks weren't a good idea in the first place. Even Too Tall got worried. Come on, he said. Let's get back in there and get rid of those tricks. Working quickly again, they got rid of the fake spiders and the trick book, but the closet was a little too tricky and all the board erasers and stuff came down on Too Tall. They were still picking up the mess when in walked the substitute. What are you fellows up to? She asked, writing Miss Charlene on the board. We are, we're just straightening up a bit, said Too Tall. How very thoughtful, said Miss Charlene. There was just one problem. They forgot the frog. Miss Charlene wasted no time getting the class started. Hmm, she said, looking around the room. Teacher Bob told me he would leave a schedule. Perhaps it's in the drawer. The big fat bullfrog leaped out of the drawer, bumped into the map, which flew up flapping around and around like a window shade and revealed the schedule. Everybody did pretty well in the test. Everybody, that is, except Brother Freddy and the Too Tall Gang. 
Too tall. How do you explain that poor paper? Asked the substitute. He couldn't think of anything to say. And she said, What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? And how about you? She asked brother. He was speechless too. What's your problem? Got a frog in your throat? But don't worry, fellows, she continued. There will be a retest tomorrow after school. So the next day after school, while the rest of the class was home having fun, Brother Freddy and Too Tall and his gang took the retest. Brother not only learned some history from the experience, he learned how to deal with Too Tall. The next time he tried to coax him into some mischief, he turned him down cold. Too Tall, he said, as far as I'm concerned, you're history. <laughs>